Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, everyone. We well, are welcome to the last part of this um, three days prayer and fasting. May God continue to strengthen us all as you have uh, waited upon the Lord, upon the Lord, your waiting will not be, or our waiting will not be in, in vain in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord God, we just bless you this hour, Lord. We thank you, Father, for everything that you have done for us, for you have kept us throughout the three days, oh, Lord. We have been waiting upon you. Jesus, we thank you, Father, for all that you have done and what you're ready to do. My Lord, my God, we appreciate you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for the ability, for the strength, for giving us another chance, oh Lord. Father, we just thank you. We bless you, Jesus, for those that have given testimony, Lord. Father, let their testimony be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, even for those that are still waiting upon you, Lord, to perform that miracle, Jesus, don't let this month pass them by, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, O Lord, and glorify your whole name in the mighty name of Jesus. As we are seeking you, Father, let us continue to find you in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. I take authority over every power right now, every territorial spirit within the area I am, within the area, any man or woman, everyone that on the line now, every territorial spirit in your area, I command them to bow in the mighty name of Jesus. Just speak a word to that environment. I command those power to bow right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You that marine spirit, you that demon, that incubus and succubus spirit that is roaming about in that area, we bind you and we destroy you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Anywhere you are operating from, whether from the sea, from inside the tree, or you are operating from the rock, we bulldoze that rock right now, we bulldoze your coven with the spirit of the living God with the power in the blood of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, make a way for us today, Lord, where there seems to be no way. Jesus, answer us, O Lord, according to our demand, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your mighty hand touch our foundation and release every evil tree and uproot it in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that is damaged in our foundation, O oh Lord, Jesus, <coughs> let it be uprooted. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord, God, make a way because you are a way maker for us, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, this pandemic, O oh Lord, will not take our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Rather, the pandemic will die before us, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, take control. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus into all the areas of our brothers and sisters right now, up to 30,000 kilometers in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father, we worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to sing some hymn to praise our God. Hallelujah. I'm going to sing 673. There is a redeemer. Yes, there is a redeemer. Hallelujah. One to go. There is a redeemer. Jesus God, oh son. 
Precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son and living your Spirit. The walk on earth is done. Jesus, my redeemer, name above all names, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, who for sin has slain. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son and living your Spirit. The work on earth is done. When I stand in glory. I will see his face, and there I will serve my King forever in the whole place. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son. I live in your spirit, the work on earth is done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us also sing 1022. All powers. Sorry, above all powers, above all kings. Above all powers. Above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before the world began. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, Above all wonders the world has ever known, above all wealth and the treasures of the earth, there is no way to measure what you are worth. Crucify, lay behind the stone, live to die. Rejected alone like a rose, trampled on the ground. You took the fall and thought of me above all, above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and the, all the ways of man, there is, you be sorry, above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders the world has ever known. Above all wet and the treasure of the earth, there is no way to measure what you are worth. Crucify, lay behind the stones, you live to die, rejected alone like a rose. Trample on the ground, you took the fall and thought of me above all. Grow 
صفات لي بيهايد ستون يو ليف تو دا ريجتد الو لايك اروس ترامب اون دي جراند يو تو بيفور ان تاوت اوف مي ابوف Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us also sing 613, 613. Hallelujah. Spirit of thy living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of thy living God, fall afresh on me. Break me, match me, mold me, feed me. Spirit of thy living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of thy living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of thy living God, fall afresh on me. Break me, met me, mold me, feed me. Spirit of thy living God, fall afresh on me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless you, Lord. We worship you, Father. We give you thanks. We give you adorations. We thank you, O Lord, for that. For you are the God that make everything to be possible for us in this very season. We bless your holy Lord for this topic that you have given us to treat for these very three days, O oh Lord. And you have been the God that has been strengthening us. You have been the God that has been feeding us. You have been, you have been the God, O oh Lord, that has been giving us an assurance. You have been the God that say, oh, we should trust in you. Father, Lord God, we just thank you. We bless you, Lord. We worship you, Father. That anyone that trusted in you, we never miss. We never miss what you promised. Father, we just thank you. We thank you, Father. We bless you. I thank you for the life of every soul, men and women of God, people of God, children of God that are on the line right now. Father, I just thank you for their life. I thank you for your wonderful work, O oh Lord, Father, for sustaining them, for keeping them, for making them to know that you are their Father. Lord Jesus, we bless you, Holy Spirit, because you said when they ask, you will surely give. You will answer. Father, Lord God, we bless your holy Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Hallelujah. Our brothers and sisters, today is the final, final of final, and we are also in, on the final, final month of this very year, the last month of the year 2021. The month, the month has started already. Look at the hours that we have spent in, in, in December right now. Even today, some people have passed. My brother, my sister, that is just how the life is. So we are going to go back, again, I mean, a little to what we have been treating. Uh, we started with uh, the massacre of the innocent because of uh, uh, evil hunters or uh, star hunters. So from there we go to, I think yesterday we treated uh, destroying the hunters, sorry, destroying the star hunters in your life. So we treated part two and three. Today, we, Jesus Christ makes us to understand in the book of John chapter 10 that he's our shepherd. He can never mislead us. He can never lead us astray. That we should hold on. We should hold on on him and he will direct our path. On the ground that the star hunters, they are the one that is hunting our star. That They are the one that is misleading us and cause causing confusion in our life and that of our children. Praise God. If you read that verse, if you read that very uh, chapter 10 of the book of John, 
from verse 1 to 18, you will see how Jesus Christ gave us a full assurance that when we trust in him, that we cannot miss the way. So I just want to, it's only one verse there that I'm going to read before we go down. We need to see the agenda of the, uh, we need to, I want you to just, if you haven't got pen and paper, because it is, if you want to do it in a personal, a personal deliverance way, you can do it later, but you just need to write something down. You just need to write some of the points down that we are going to that we are going to give out now. Once you write it down, you can easily, I mean, you will be able to identify the area that this star, this star hunter, the area they have touched in your life. So I want us to only read, I'm go, just going to read uh, um, John chapter 10, verse 9 to 11. Praise God. Verse, verse 9, say, I am the door. If any man enter through me, that is Jesus Christ is speaking, he shall be safe and shall go in and out and find pasture. Hallelujah. He's telling us he's the doorway. If anybody want to go to, I mean, want to go to the Father, you have to pass through him. If anybody wants a, 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 a good destiny, you have to go through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Verse 10. He said, the thieves come only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I am come. Sorry. I came that they might have life and might have it abundantly. Verse 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lay down his life for the sheep. Hallelujah. So that is the assurance that Jesus Christ is giving us. That no matter what the star hunters have done at the past, but today we are surrendering everything to him. We are rededicating our house, our children, our family, our career, everything to the hands of God. Whatever we have missed before, God is going to shape in everything and put it the right way. Amen. Today, right now, before we start praying, I have a lot of prayer for us to pray, if you are ready. So, or if you can pray. If, you can, if we cannot finish the prayer today, maybe we will arrange another time for the prayer. Because I know that these are some of the areas that the enemy are using to deal with us. The star hunters. Majority of us, we are ignorance of it. We don't know that. Some people we even say, oh, what is star hunters? How who, who is hunting your stars? Hallelujah. Today, the first step I want us to know is the agenda of star hunters. As I said before, if you can write something down, it will also help you during the time of meditation or during the time of flashback, you can think of what has happened before, either in your family or to your mother or to your father or even to the children, what is happening right now. Even the siblings or the generations or even the nation as a whole, your nation or the world as a whole, you can imagine some certain things that is happening. Hallelujah. The agenda of star hunters, one, they kill the star of people. That is the, one of the agenda. They frustrate people about to get to their own destiny, I mean, to their promised land. They frustrate people not to go to their promised land. We saw during the time of uh, Exodus of the Israelites, before they get to their promised land, you know how many wars they fought. You saw what happened when they were fighting the war. I mean, when they were trying to go to Jericho, God gave them some kind of strategies, what they have to do, how they need, I mean, how they should stand before they can get there. 
that was of Jericho is still in our personal life today, my brother, my sisters. Because when you want to step into your promised land, the enemy are there to wage war. He said the program set back. These are the, these are some of the, I mean the, the, the reasons, or these are some of the agenda of star hunters. They delay the, the destiny of people. Star hunters delay the destiny of people. Also, they plant satanic embargo. Hallelujah. As the physical police or the physical immigration or the physical security man, they have embargo or they have limitation or they have a border. So also that is how it is in the spiritual world. Through the star hunters, the, I mean, the star hunter put an embargo on the way of people. Hallelujah. They program a, uh, the program of, sorry, they, they program the program of God in people's life. They try to destabilize it. They try to reduce it. They deprogram the program of God in people's life. They silent, I'm sorry, they are silent killer. Hallelujah. They are silent killer. The next one, I mean, sorry, number eight. He said they cause terrible affliction. Silent killer. They can infuse scarcity. They can infuse a, a problem into people's finance, finances, into businesses. Nine, they imprison the glory of a person and shut it down permanently. If you are not aware of it, these people, they can shut, they can shut the glory of people down. They can imprison it. 10, I said they obtain little information about you and use it to attack you. Once they get little information, we know what happened to, to Joseph. In Genesis chapter 37, the brothers, they got some little information about him and they work on it. They started using it. He exposed himself to them. When we expose ourselves to our enemy, they will see, I mean, get some loopholes to attack us. I said the target, that is number 11 now, they target and kill babies from the womb or from their mother's womb. They target, they target children. When people are pregnant, that's why many people in some areas, especially in Africa, they hardly tell people that they are pregnant. Until that bed, I mean, that child come out from the womb because they, are, they, they can do anything to make sure that the mother of that child did not survive it. But ours will not be like that. Our children or our wife will not suffer miscarriage or they will not die during childbirth in Jesus' name. Number 12, I said they make sure people never rise again with his or her star. They try to suppress it. If you just think that, oh, it has happened before, I have to just take it the way it is. They will suppress it down. But if you now say, oh, God said, if I fall, I will rise again. Understand? And struggle to do it. They won't be able to suppress you down. But there are many people in that kind of category today that, say, that just give hope. They give hope because of what they have experienced. Maybe it has happened one, two, three. Or some, some women, marriage uh, women that have married, uh, sorry, they married before they, um, they marry, they have one or two, three miscarriages. Can you imagine that some women can have up to seven miscarriages? My brother, my sisters, these are real, but it will not be our portion. So those are the agendas of the star hunters. How uh, another area we need to look at is 
the powers that consist star hunters, the powers that operate within them. They are branches. They have branches. Like some churches now, they have branches. Some companies, they have branches. The government institutions, they have branches. So also these people, they also have their branches. So I said they are strong men or strong women. Or repentant enemy. They refuse to repent. When Pharaoh, king of Egypt, then saw what was happening, God gave him plagues, gave him signs, show him things that we make him to real, that he should know that he is God Almighty. But this man refused to refrain from whatever plan he was planning against the children of Israel. Until he drawn, he was drawn into the rest. Of it. Praise God. He never realized it, thinking that, oh, sometimes our enemy, they are also foolish too. Because they, only the way they know, that is just what they know. But they don't know the right way because if it is not revealed to them, they will not know how to attack. So because they were seeing the rest, the rest of it, as the children of Israel were going through it, Pharaoh mandated his army to also enter. Praise God. Hallelujah. So they are strong men and strong women. Number two, I said they are enemy of progress because they don't want you to progress in life. That is why they are hunting your staff. That is why they are causing delay. Number three, I said they are unfriendly friends. These people, they eat with you. Look at uh, Judah Iscariot and Jesus and the friends, everything. Other disciples. There are some friends like that, my brother and sister, that is coming to your house or that are even discussing with you. Holding some discussion with you on phone, thinking that they are your friends. They are just looking for information. Or even if they have the same type of company that you have, they want to also use your idea to promote themselves. But they won't tell you until you see, maybe you see their website or you get information about them. These are unfriendly friends. I said they are ancestral powers, ancestral demons. When we were young, you cannot decide for yourself. Like a baby now, a baby cannot say what he or she wants to eat. Everything you give to that child, that's what you will eat. Hallelujah. So what we are dedicated to, we don't know. What our parents have I mean, dedicated us to, we don't know. The ancestral spirit that is roaming about or that have been in the family, in the generation, we don't know about it. Praise God. So this type of demon, demon they, they can go with people in, in every area. If it, is not, if, if it is not breaking down or you, did, you refuse to deliver yourself from it, they can act in different ways to attack you. So can even be acting like incubus and succubus, like spiritual husband and spiritual wife. You will be thinking, oh, it's your friend that attacked you, that called you yesterday. No. Is the demon, it can be a demon from your father's house. Hallelujah. I said they, um, they are false prophets. False prophets today, they can also manipulate people, look in, behaving like star hunters. Hallelujah. They are enchanter and diviner, blood sucking demons. They, they live. They are like a, a cannibal or how, which type of animal we like, like lion and other, they suck blood. Blood is what they want, like this very season now. Many of them, many of those demons, they are, they are outside looking for blood to use for their promotion. That from January to this very time, they give them an assignment. If you cannot do this, you won't be promoted next year. Hallelujah. So they could manifest, they could manifest their work through 
your wife, your husband, the children, or the family. Guys, the star hunters, they can manifest through anybody. They are envious powers. That is what they consist of, the power that, that is in them. They are envious uh, uh, powers. If they are not envious, why are they searching for your star? Or why are they hunting for your stars? Another area we should look, look at, I said, why would the star hunter go after you or your children? Why would they go after you if there is nothing they are looking for? If they are not seeing that thing in you, why would they go for you? The devil will not go for anyone that are in his or her camp. The devil will not go, with, I, I mean, attack somebody that is already in fornication or adult, adult trust person, or somebody that is, uh, that is uh, stealing. Devil will not go for that one because he know that very person is already in his camp. But if the person want to go out as if the person now realize and say, oh, what I am doing now is not good. Let me come out from that uh, very position or from that sin. That is when the enemy will not be attacking. So why would the star hunter go after you or the children? One, because you have a unique star. Look at Jesus. The, the, the three wise men come across, uh, come across uh, um, Herod. Oh, they said, a new king had been born. Ah, who is that king? Praise God. So hearing that, you can get it in Matthew chapter 2, and you can also get it in Luke chapter 2, if you want to read it. Hearing that the man was, I mean, the, his anger stirred up. He was angry and said, he is still alive. Who is that king? Not even from his own house. Praise God. So I said, one, well, because you have a unique star. All that child have a unique star. We have seen children that have unique star, but somewhere along the line, like in Mark chapter 5. The, the man that was that was having a legion spirit at the end of everything when Jesus Christ delivered him, he now became useful to his community. He now became an evangelist. He now became a human being. But before nobody knew who he was because the star hunter tried to bring him down. Number two, I said because you have the secret information of the devil. You know something about death. Maybe as a preacher or as a Christian, you are very strict in your own, uh, to yourself. You don't want anything to, do, you don't have anything to do with death, but they will start attacking you. They will start searching for you. How can I know the secret of this very person? What is really, where, where is his power or her power? Number three, I said, because God has chosen you to be a blessing to your family, church, nation, or world at large. Because God has chosen you. God chose Moses. But Moses did not know, even his parents, they did not know who Moses was. Praise God. In Exodus chapter one, we did not know that, or nobody know who he was, but somewhere along the line, the king then said, oh, they should kill all the children. But God also always have a way of escaping those that are his, those that he have. They are, you are special, my brother, my sister. That is why God is still keeping you. That child that is, I mean, that the enemy are playing game with, is a special child. That is why you need to fasten your seedbed to make sure that what the enemy plan, they will not succeed. 
Number four, I say when you hit a major financial breakthrough, or when you are about to get that very contract, or when you are planning something good, you went to the bank to take a loan and say, oh, you just put in an application, 150,000 pounds or 150,000 dollars or whatever money you have in, in your area or in your country. So the, 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 the star hunter, once they got in their, their affirmation or they searched through their mirror and say, oh, this is what is happening now, they will know how to attack. Hallelujah. Number five, I say, when God is your true friend, when you say, oh, I am a Christian. I am a born again Christian. No, we have born again. That is what my first pastor told me those days. He said, we have born again Christians and we have born guru guru. That is people that say they are Christian, but they are not Christians. Praise God. So when you keep God as your true friend, the enemy will like to be searching. The star hunters will like to be searching for your star. Hallelujah. The number six, I say, when your prayer are great uh, turbulence to them, when your prayer dis is disturbing them, they can be disturbing you too. They can be sending their arrow, but don't be afraid. They won't get through. That arrow will not come to you unless that arrow first go through Jesus before it can go get to you. If you cannot pass through Jesus, how will it be able to come to you? Hallelujah. He said, when you are about to travel out or perform a, a glorious task, majority of us that come from other countries, where we are right now, even if you are born in that very nation, if you want to do something tangible, you have a good project that you want to carry out, the star hunter would like to penetrate. They would like to be, get, to be receiving information or to get some information about you. Hallelujah. Then the number eight in this category, I say when you are close to your blessings, many people when they are close, at the, at the end, uh, sorry, at the point of your blessing, your breakthrough, that is when you will now see some kind of, people will now be seeing some kind of uh, setback. They will now be seeing some kind of disappointment. 11.59 minutes because the star hunters are in operation. Hallelujah. Another category we need to look at. I said, how to know that you are under the pressure, sorry, the oppression of star hunters. How will you know? Hallelujah. Number one. Demonic, sorry, satanic bondage. You might have been seeing some kind of dream. You might have been noticing some kind of thing and say, oh, this business you want to do or this ministry you want to do or how the children are behaving, how the marriage is going. That is one of the way you can know that you are under uh, the oppression of star hunters. They're living in difficulties. That is another area, another great point that you can know. Then number three, prayer answer is scared. It is difficult for you to receive miracle. So in this area, you can also know. Then demonic dream. Every time you are even afraid to go to sleep at night. You are afraid, you don't, when it is night, you are panicking, looking for who will sleep, who, 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 who both of you can be in the same room. Hallelujah. Then again, number five, unable to achieve a destiny. You have a great destiny. You have a good mission. You have a good wisdom to carry out things. But those things are not coming out the way you want it to be. God has destined you to be a prominent person, but it's not coming out the way it should be. Hallelujah. Number six, marriage become difficult. 
marriage becomes difficult. And that's why marriage is always sad. And that's why marriage, or you are not in marriage, people promise to, to marry, to, to either a man or a woman, promise and say, okay, let us be friends, uh, first of all, then after which, let us engage. After the term of engagement, that's when the trouble will start. Too many, uh, too many breakdowns in marriages, too many confusions. Number seven, I said, to, re to rise up again is great task. You are struggling to rise up. You know that there's something in the front that you have to catch. There's a plan that you need to establish, but to do it is very, very difficult. Then evil thought comes to mind. That is another area you will use to know that such a person is under op oppression, I mean, oppressions of the star hunters. So evil thoughts, there are many thoughts that is coming to people's mind. I don't want to do it again. Or they want to go out, they, they want to plan to commit suicide. Or they can even decide to go alcoholic or just to be smoking. Praise God, because different evil thoughts is coming to their mind. Or even to be prostituting. They are married or they are not married, they don't even care. Anybody that comes, either a man or a woman, this can affect such people. Spirit of frustration and limitation is a rather very kind of person. Hallelujah. Inability to, inability to park out from a public house. You have the tension to buy a house. When you get that money, other things will take place. You don't, you cannot move. If you want to build, it's a problem. Even the one you build, you will find it difficult to move out from the one you are, from the rent. Hallelujah. You have built something, but to go back to there for you to start enjoying your, your property, it is not possible. Then number 11, as a serious financial attack. Serious financial attack. Then another one, number 12, I said, prayer becomes too difficult. Many people in this kind of category, they cannot pray. Once they just even in the church, they slip off. Praise God. When the sermon is going on, you can even see them sleep. I mean, you can even hear them sleeping. Praise God. If a bell is there until the bell is rang, they will still be sleeping. They won't know anything. After the sermon, when you ask them what is happening, they can't give you one verse that they learned. Then number 13, I say every department of life when you are on, sorry, in every department, it can affect any, every department of your life when you are under spiritual attack or star hunters. Hallelujah. I hope we are, we are writing all these things down. If you want to question me about it later or you want to write something, you want to more explanation, we can still go further. I can, you can call me or through the means that you reach, used to reach me now. You have to look for ways to make sure that you, you, you get me. The last category, he said, how to come out of Star Hunter's cage? How to come out, what to do that will enable you to come out from their cage. That is where we are going now. I said, you cannot defeat these powers with only prayer. Hallelujah. Uh, you may be asking, oh, why? Why can't I defeat it with only prayer? Action is needed, my brother and sisters. You need to employ the following, the, the following. One, give your life completely to Christ. Submit your, surrender everything to Christ, to God. If you are being, if you are not, if you are being the type that one leg here, one leg there, when it's good, 
you go out from the church. When it's not good, that is when we come in. So you have to choose because we cannot serve two masters. Hallelujah. That is the first thing you have to do. I said, determine to, to stay away from sin and repent from all sins. Determine, you have to make a confession or you have to stand and say, oh, I am not going to sin again. If you have been smoking, if you have been drinking, if you have whatever sin you have been seen or in any way you have been seen, you have to decide, you have to agree. You have to come to conclusion and say, oh, I'm not going to do this thing again because the business I'm doing is not prospering. Look at this, somebody that I even started before. These are the, some of the areas, my brother, my sisters. Let me tell you one secret. In some years ago, when I was in my country, praise God, a woman that went for, went to, for deliverance in a church, I was watching TV that very time, that very day. I was watching TV. This very girl, I don't know if she was up to 30 years as I been. She didn't mention her age. When she was after deliv deliverance, she was giving and uh, she was giving report or the spirit that she was delivered from. What she used to do, he said, if she want for herself, if she she was she belongs to all this marine spirit, if they want blood, my brother, my sisters, he said, if they want blood. She can go to the roadside, a major highway, and she just touch her body. He said, a goat will come out, a live goat will come out. Nobody will see that goat unless the driver. When the driver is driving, then he will be trying to escape that goat. At a point, the driver will now enter bush. An accident will happen. People will die. Blood will shed. Okay, the most critical one, that was what made me to run from some certain things I was doing before. Hallelujah. He said, if she touched her part, uh, sorry, he said, if any girl, I heard it from her myself, nobody told me. He said, if any man sleep with her, he said, the life of that man is condemned for seven years. You can imagine if a man sleep with that kind of three of those types. That is just calculated 21 years. So this is what make me to run from some certain things I was doing when I was young. That, this is the story I'm telling you now is far back about 1996 or 97. So we have to run from sin. For us to be free, we have to repent completely, totally and permanently. There is no um, halfway repentance, total repentance. That is what God wants from us. Number that is, we have to determine to be free from sin. Number three, raise your raise your prayer your prayer altar against star hunter. That is, have a place in your house that you use. I mean, you will be praying anywhere in your house, or you have to also have a time. Or one day in a week. Or you can declare three days in a, in a month or so and say, I'm going to fast. The situation I am now is I'm not supposed to be there. I'm just exposing some of the secrets of the star hunters to you, to us, my brother, my sisters. Number four, I said, determine to fast and pray to ensure your seriousness this spiritual, I mean, for this, in this spiritual battle, to ensure your seriousness, you have to fast and pray. We are, I was telling somebody the other day that if you want to fast, was even saying it in the church, if you want to fast, you can remove yourself from, from certain things. If you are medical, you can still fast and say, oh, maybe let me do, instead of me taking my medication, nine o'clock, let me take it. 10 o'clock. God has a way of helping us out through any condition that we are. 
I'm not telling you not to take your medication. Praise God. Then the number six, I say, cover your star with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Your own personal star now. Cover it with the precious blood of Jesus Christ and with the fire of God Almighty. Hallelujah. We have heard some, some of the informations, some of the agendas, and some of the operations, and how they carry out their strategies, the power that is behind the star hunters that have been fighting us, our children, fighting our career. Majority of us, we did not, we did not know it. When I know about this thing, about this thing some years ago, I changed my strategy, my prayers, I changed it. So how to do this? You can declare a prayer in the night, midnight, because that is when they, 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 they go to their own meeting. That is when they go to their coven. You may be asking, what is coven? Coven is a place where the enemy hold their own meeting too. As you have a place of meeting in, your, in, the, in the church, they also have their own place of meeting. That is their coven. It can be a secret altar. It can be anywhere. And most especially in their covenant, their law is strict even more than the, the physical government law that we have. Praise God. Once they say eight o'clock, it's eight o'clock. If you did not come, that person will receive some penalty. Praise God. So we need to do some, you need to do some midnight prayer. There is very great benefit when we do midnight prayer. And when you do midnight prayer, the way you will pray or the way you will, you will dream, dream that very day is quite different from whatever dream that you have been seeing. Those demonic dreams that you will be seeing, you will not see the way, they will not attack you in that, in that very form. They have been attacking you before. You will now see even the foundation of everything. God will bless us in Jesus' name. My brother, my sisters, we have enough prayer to pray if we are ready to pray. Let us now continue to open our mouth to thank God for the exposition of the, of the enemy, for those star hunters that have been hunting our star. Let us now continue to thank God for exposing their secret. Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, we bless you, Lord. We worship you, Father. We thank you, Jesus, for exposing the secret of the enemy to us, O Lord. My Lord, my God, we bless you. We thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy Lord. My Lord God, we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. My brother, my sisters, continue to soak yourself in the blood of Jesus right now because what you are going to pray, the enemy may also be trying to do something. I have prayed in some years ago. Before I would know it, the, the, the globe or the bulb in, 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 the, in the very room I was praying, as I was praying, I just hear it explode. They can react in many different ways. My brother, my sisters, let us soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus and say, I soak my children, I soak my house, I soak my cars, I soak everything around me in the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, I soak every soul, O oh Lord, under the sound of my voice right now, up to 30,000 kilometers. Father, I soak there in the blood of Jesus. That every attack of the enemy in this very time, oh Lord, Father Lord Jesus, let it return back to those enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you, Lord. Jesus, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are also going to ask for the strength of God because we need the strength to pray this kind of prayer. Because when you will hear it, as you have seen the secret of them or, and how they operate, you also need the strength. Ask God right now to strengthen you up. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Lord, my God, we need your strength, O Lord. Strengthen each and every one of us up this hour in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord God, strengthen us up today, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Father. Take us to control in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now we are going to pray and say, Lord, my Father, let not my enemy agree over my star in the mighty name of Jesus. Because before they can operate, because they can send their messengers, there have to be an agreement. There has to be some conspiracy around, around that very star 
around your staff. But we are going to, we are praying right now. Say, Lord, let them not agree for my star or that of my children in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, let not my enemy agree for, over my star today, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. This very month or in the year to come, let not them, don't let them agree, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let them agree for what they plan to do for, to my star or that of my children or the company that I have. Oh Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, pray for that marriage right now. I say, Lord, don't let them agree in the mighty name of Jesus. What they plan to do, the star hunters, oh Lord, don't let them agree in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it's not only one person that is in that conspiracy, my brother and my sister. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, don't let them agree, oh Lord, the enemy of my destiny. Don't let them agree, the enemy of my star. Lord Jesus, don't let them agree, oh Lord, on what to do against me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be confusion within them, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, don't let them agree in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. As a star hunters of my father's house, be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus, because there are also some star hunters. How, they can, uh, how this can be possible is people that are close to you, the spirit that are close to you, the, the enemy that are close to you. You may be thinking that they are even your friends, but they are enemies. So we have to pray and say, Lord, the, the star hunters of my father's house be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Continue to destroy them right now. Every star hunters of my father's house, I command them to be destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. From my father's family, from my mother's family, every star hunters of my father's house, I command them to be destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Star hunters of my, my place of birth, let them be destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Star hunters of my place of birth, let them be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Star hunters of my father's house, let them be destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Star hunters of my father's house, let them be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Star hunters of my father's house, let them be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are quickly going to pray this prayer. It just came to me. I don't know the person. When you were born or where you were born, there is a river there. We are going to pray right now. I say, Lord, every star hunter in that very stream or that are operating in that very river, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, destroy their oppression, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every star hunter that is in the village that I was born and they are operating in a river in that place. Father, let them be destroyed today in the mighty name of Jesus. Every star hunter, oh Lord, that, that, is, that are operating in my place of birth, where there is a river, oh Lord, and that river is in that place. They are operating in that very river. Masaka Parite Poria. That marine spirit, oh Lord, Jesus, that is operating in that very river, that is in my place of birth. I command them to, I command that river to dry up right now spiritually in the mighty name of Jesus. Let all of them be exposed and be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Every star hunter that is operating in that very river close to my house, oh Lord, that place where I was born, Father Lord Jesus, every star hunter that is operating in that very river, my Lord, my God, Father Lord, Holy Spirit, expose and disgrace them and let them continue to be destroyed. Frustrate their plan today, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. If you are that very person, you can contact us for us to still pray with you in the mighty name of Jesus and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Number four, I say, any divine, any, uh, sorry, any diviner or enchanter working hard to, di to direct, to direct my destiny, thunder of God, Thunder of God Almighty, strike them in the mighty name of Jesus. Any divine, any diviner or enchanter that are working hard to direct my destiny. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, my Lord, my God, it is not too late, Father, for you to rearrange my destiny, Lord. Any diviner or enchanter working hard to direct my destiny. Thunder of God, continue to strike them right now in the name of Jesus. Thunder of God Almighty, strike them down. In the mighty name of Jesus, strike them, O oh Lord, with their gods, with their power. In the mighty name of Jesus, any diviner 
or enchanter working hard to direct my destiny. Thunder of God Almighty, strike them down with their gods, with their power, with their destiny. Strike them to death in the mighty name of Jesus. Every divine and all of, wherever they may be, in my father's house, in my mother's house, in this very country that I am, O oh Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, wherever those divine are, are O oh Lord, wherever those enchanters are, working hard, to re, working hard to make sure that they redirect my destiny. My Lord, my God, let your thunder continue to strike them down to death right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your thunder strike them down today in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I say, oh God, arise and place an irreversible cause upon those that are sitting on my stars in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, arise and place irreversible cause upon all those sitting on my star in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, arise, O Lord, and place an irreversible cause upon those that are sitting on my star in the mighty name of Jesus. O many present and many potent God, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, arise, O Lord, and place an irreversible cause. The cause that they cannot change, they cannot reverse. Nobody will be able to deliver them in the mighty name of Jesus. O Lord God, arise and place an irreversible cause upon those that are sitting on my star in the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The next prayer says, every part of diviner used to checkmate the progress of my star collapse by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Command it to collapse right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Break that evil part that evil part that they are using to look at you, that they are using to search for your destiny, that they are using to check whatever you are doing. They want to get information. That thing is acting like CCTV for them. Continue to break it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil part of diviner used to checkmate me, oh Lord, my, my, my progress, my star. I command it to be broken right now. Let them collapse, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, every divine, O oh Lord, every divine pot, I command it to be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whichever pot they are using, O oh Lord, Father, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let it be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our next prayer, any evil charm on my, on my head, any evil blood or foul, pour upon my star, in the realm of the spirit, scatter in the name of Jesus. You can be asking, how will that blood be on your head? My brother, my sisters, you don't need to be there. It's just for them to call your, it's not your name, Jesus' name. It's just for them to call people's name and maybe they draw something. They just draw something down and say, this is so so, so person. So they just, Pour that, the, 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 the blood, the blood of the chicken they kill, they just pour it on it. That is it. So that's why you have to wipe it out with the blood of Jesus. I will take that again. Any evil charm or, sorry, any evil charm on my head, any evil blood of the fowl pour upon my star in the realm of the spirit, scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, Father, Lord, what, whatever time they have placed upon me, O oh Lord, whatever blood they have put upon me, Father, Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, I command you to scatter right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil time, O oh Lord, let them scatter right now. Evil blood, I wipe it out with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Evil time, O oh Lord, I wipe it out right now with the blood of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil blood, every evil charm. I wipe it out right now with the blood of Jesus. Every time in the head of our children, Lord Jesus, Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, we wipe it out right now with the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. The next prayer said, the wall of my house, hear the word of the living God, defend and fight back on my behalf against the arrow of star hunters in the mighty name of Jesus, the wall of my house, let it continue to turn that wall wherever you are, you are right now in your house. Continue to turn that wall to fire. Let it continue to be a bulletproof in the mighty name of Jesus. The wall of my house, 
I turn you to spiritual weapon right now. Continue to fight against the star hunters in the mighty name of Jesus. The arrow of the star hunters returning back to them in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, let the war of my house continue to fight against them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I say every stubborn highlighting of death upon my star be wiped off by the blood of Jesus Christ. Every stubborn highlighting of death upon my star be wiped out with the blood of Jesus Christ. Because this very season, as we said before, they are looking for the blood to use for their promotion. It's not for you. It's not for me. It's not for our children. They will not be able to use our our blood or that of our children to get promotion in Jesus' name. I say every stubborn highlighting of death upon my upon my star be wiped off by the blood of Jesus Christ. I wipe it off right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every stubborn highlighting of death, I wipe it off right now in the mighty name of Jesus. There are some people that they have also caged. When they when you see when you see a goat in the dream, my brother, my sister. Take it very seriously, because that is how what they used to represent human being. Goat is what they used to represent human being in the in their spirit world. So if you saw it or say that they tied somebody down like that, you have to say it to somebody that know it more better for them to pray with you. Hallelujah! Say every stubborn handwriting of death upon my star be wiped out with the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord Jesus, by your power and authority, I wipe off right now every stubborn heretic. I wipe it out with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say every power, sorry, every evil powers or personalities monitoring my, my name for evil, receive destruction right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil powers or personalities Monitoring my name for evil, receive this receive destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil powers or personalities, monitoring my name for evil, receive destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil powers or personalities, <coughs> monitoring the name of our, of our children for evil, receive destruction right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil powers or personalities, monitoring the names of our businesses. Ministry, the name of Global Light Apostolic Ministries, receive destruction right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to repeat it, my brother, my sisters. Every evil powers or personalities monitoring my, my name for evil, receive destruction right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command you to receive destruction. Every evil powers or personalities. Father, Lord God, I command you to receive destruction right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I say, I separate myself from the territory or environment of evil hunters in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to disconnect yourself from the right now. If they are on your phone, you will see some numbers. They will go out from your phone without you knowing. It's just a prayer, my brother, my sisters. The prayer that you are praying or we are praying, God is answering us in different ways. Separate yourself. I separate myself from, el from, the, territory of from the territory or environment of star hunters. In the mighty name of Jesus, I separate myself from their territory right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I separate myself from the territory or environment of evil hunters. In the mighty name of Jesus, of those star hunters, star gazers, star monitoring spirit, I separate myself right now. Continue to separate your children, separate your business, separate your marriage out from them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, out from their area. Father Lord Jesus, we separate ourselves today, O Lord. I separate my marriage. I separate the children. I separate the church, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I separate myself from the territory or environment of star hunters in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever they are, I separate myself from them in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not see them in my dream again in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I separate myself from them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I separate myself from their territory or from their environment in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our next prayer says, every strange landlord refusing to give up, to give up on my star, be exposed and be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. 
there are some, there are some landlord, it's not your physical landlord. In the dream, you will see these people acting like your landlord. Praise God. They are monitoring you. They are using your own, your own uh, glory. Or they are using people's glory to promote themselves. Hallelujah. Many things are happening in the spirit, my brother, my sisters. I say, every saint landlord refusing to give up on my star, be exposed and be disgraced. Wherever you may be, in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my in laws house, all my past relationship, or among those unfriendly friends, every, every strange landlord refusing to give up on my star, be exposed and be disgraced. I command them to be exposed and be disgraced now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every star hunters, I command them to be exposed and be disgraced right now. Every strange landlord refusing to give give up on my star. I command you to be exposed and be disgraced right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every star hunters be exposed and be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Every star hunters be exposed and be disgraced now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every star hunters, wherever you are, anywhere you are hiding, I command you to be exposed and be disgraced right now. Every strange landlord refusing to give up on my star be exposed and be disgraced now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every Every strange landlord refusing to give up on our children's star, be exposed and be disgraced now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Say, my breakthroughs cage in any satanic coven by star hunters. I claim you back in the mighty name of Jesus. My breakthroughs caged by the satanic cage in any satanic cage by star hunters. I claim you back right now. Continue to claim me back. Claim me for your household. Claim me for your children. In the mighty name of Jesus. I claim me back, oh Lord, my breakthrough. Claim, uh, my breakthrough. Cage in any satanic coven by star hunters. I claim you back in the mighty name of Jesus. My breakthroughs. I claim you back right now in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, I claim all my breakthroughs, oh Lord, Whatever that belongs to my marriage, anything that belongs to Global Light Apostolic Ministries, anything, everything that belongs to our children that the enemy have caged up, Lord Jesus, we claim it back today in the mighty name of Jesus. We claim it back right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Our breakthroughs caged by any satanic, any satanic uh, covenant, we claim it back right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Our breakthroughs caged in any satanic covenant by star hunters. We claim it back right now. I claim it back in the mighty name of Jesus. Claim your finances back. Your finances that have been caged up by star hunters. For you not to see money to use or for you not to execute that very project that you have planned to do. You have the money, but the money, you don't know how you are using it. Continue to claim your finances back right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I claim my finances caged by any satanic coven by star hunters. Claim in any satanic coven by star hunters. I claim it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I claim my prosperity. I claim my, my, my breakthroughs. I, came, I claim it back now. My breakthroughs that have been caged in any satanic coven by star hunters. I claim it back right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our next prayer says, I receive deliverance from the camp of the star hunters in the mighty name of Jesus. I receive total deliverance. By the, I receive todo, I receive my deliverance from the camp of star hunters. Our children receive their deliverance. Our career receive their deliverance. The ministry, oh Lord, receive his deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive our deliverance from the camp of star hunters in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive our deliverance. Right now, oh Lord, we receive our deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, we receive our deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus from the, from the camp of star hunters in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive our deliverance right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive our deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive all our deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, we bless your own Lord. We worship you, Father. Continue to soak yourself once again in the blood of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, we soak ourselves in your blood, Lord. Jesus, we soak ourselves in your blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, continue to work for us, O oh Lord. Continue to guide us Continue to breathe, to, to breathe the breath of life into us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We just thank you, Father. We bless your holy Lord. 
We worship you, Father, because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. My brother, my sisters, we will create more time to finish the prayer because it's a lot. We still have a lot to pray. So, and God will bless us in Jesus' name. If you want to be a partner or you are already a partner with us, God will richly bless you. Now, if you want to be a partner, please contact us and we, we will tell you how you can do that in Jesus' name. Also, we have prayer on Friday in the church if you are in the same city where we are and we have a, a combined service. We have a combined service on, on Sunday, preaching in English, in Punjabi, and in French. It will be very, you, I know you will like it. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Have a, a very wonderful evening. God bless you. Hallelujah.